Good morning, my YouTube family. I am enjoying my garden this morning. I don't have too much to do other than to sort of check on things. I have done all of my fall planting more than I thought it was. That's not true. I still have to put my kale my different kales in. I have one strip to do, but other than that, my um, my next succession is in for cool weather crops. Um, different than I thought, um, in different places than I thought, but I went ahead and I'm sitting in the shade, of course, because I just start to drip. I gotta get up here. Oh. I turn you around. Or cantaloupe today. I ended up pulling my red onions and I went ahead and put more red onions down. Now they're not going to turn into full fledged onions, but they may be more like um, spring onions. Um, so I'll be happy to get whatever I get. Again, I'm going to let those bean pods go and collect those beans. Um, that bean has been producing ever since April, May, since May. Um, I brought it from home, so, and it's got a, a long life, so I'm going to collect those beans because that'll be good. My purple beans, my Swiss chard will put on new leaves. In here I put spinach, and over there I put one, I put three cauliflower but I'm assuming only one will come up because that bean will come out and that area will be full with the cauliflower so that is for that I'm leaving this bed be for now it's already producing beans and I, I still have pickles I can can with these cucumbers so I'm leaving that these are still producing beans, so I'm leaving that. And here I put more cauliflower. I put three more cauliflower. And over here I put some beets. I put about, I don't know, 15 beets. And if they all come, they come and they're squished in there. So however they manage to survive, that's up to nature. And here I put more dill, because my I picked my bigger dill that was actually seeding out, and it's in a bag at home. So I put more dill and more um, cilantro. And I picked through my tomatoes, my pear tomatoes, because I picked them green and yellow, because I'm going to make mango salsa. A green and yellow mango salsa, why not? make things up as we go along. Still more cucumbers. Not many, but enough to hold on. These are doing fine. All of my beans are coming up that I succession sowed in between. So those are doing fine. I have a trellising bean. I'll put on a trellis. I planted lettuce in the shade here, so I'll harvest those as young greens to get me through for lettuce. This is what's sad. I came to check on this today, see how they'll fare. I may have to cover them. These are my pumpkins. They may be butternut squash. I could have mismarked these, but all I know is that they're looking a little bit sad. It's not even been 24 hours, but I'm gonna cover them up because they're they're in too much shock. These are doing fine. I planted more zucchini in here four more so if two take or one takes i'm better off than i was to start i do have a new zucchini starting the flowers are females yay looks like 
can probably pick this pepper. Just trying to get a few really ripe looking peppers. You know how, how hot they get. These are the little squatty red peppers. They aren't as as hot. They're actually sweeter. They look like they'd be hot, but they're not. And my jalapenos. They're starting to ripen up because they're turning purple. They'll turn red. I am going to make more tonight that are green, so I'll pick maybe a few more. I'll have about 25. That's a good number. All right. And this is where I'm going to plant kale. It's just hot. I just, I'm waiting on the heat. A few tomatoes I can pick. Not many. Planted a few more sunflowers in there. My cabbage is coming back again. It got eaten. I had to start from scratch with it. What did I say? Cabbage? Did I say cabbage? I think I said cabbage. And I have beets to go in here, which I will... I don't know what's happening with this one. I think it got too wet. It got flooded in here. I think it got too wet. These will be pretty when they get going. So, it's not a lot. But, you know, I'm not a full-blown farmer. <laughs> I'm not a person that, you know, goes at this so strong, like I've got eight mouths to feed and, you know, acres and acres to plow up. I just kind of dabble um, in the dirt and make myself happy in the process. <laughs> It is enjoyable, and you have to just go with what you have. You can't keep up with those, you know, big YouTubers, you know, dangling vines here and there, cucumbers I could probably pick. But, you know, I'm in no rush and no hurry. I really am not. So, I take my time. I do what I want to do. I do what I like. My herbs are very important to me, especially cilantro. Um, I dry it if I can't uh, harvest it fresh to use and then um, the same with the uh, dill I just, I just love dill so if I get enough and I dry enough I don't have to worry about it till next year I can always buy a fresh new sprig or something when I'm canning or trade with a friend at harvest time and um, we do a lot of that People, we all do a lot of that giving and sharing and then onions, spring onions, I love them. And if they don't look like they're going to last out here, I'll pull them and I'll put them in water and I'll have them at home. Um, cauliflower is really hard to grow. So I am, I had the seeds, I put them in. We'll just have to wait and see. And pickled beets and beets I love. Um, I'll go with that. And then the same with uh, lettuce is a daily or everyday thing with me. Always got to get your greens in. And then the same thing with spinach and kale. Very healthy for us. Very, very healthy for us. So, however, you if you blanch it and freeze it, blanch it, get the moisture out and freeze it, or you freeze it whole, I, you know, it's up to you how you do that. But as long as you get it um, stocked up and preserved, in some fashion so you can use it during winter you know you're ahead of the game I started adding up in my mind the differences everything is when it becomes cost-effective like it's not just that I'm growing some carrots and some potatoes and lettuce and these tomatoes and such I was in the store today for a large beefy tomato is a dollar ninety nine one tomato one tomato. So if I'm ahead of the game by some of my raw, organic, whole food vegetables, then I'm ahead 
financially because time is money I understand that not everybody has the time to farm but when it comes to shelling out money for produce every month I'm, I must be up $150, $200 so I mean when you're counting every dollar in a family or if you're alone or on disability or not well or in retirement $200 can go a long way if you're getting cucumbers and tomatoes and peppers um, it's a luxury to get some cheeses to stuff a jalapeno popper and I understand that um, sometimes we spend what we save to have just a little bit better food so we're not eating out and it's a bit of a splurge but that's that's the um, point of life it's just to make sure you have, you know, some fun with things and stir it up, mix it up. The same with um, the beets and things I wouldn't normally buy and you can't always find in the grocery store. You can probably find it as a, at a produce fair, but you won't necessarily always see it. You'll see it probably in Whole Foods and such. And the same with the honeydew melons. They're $1.99, so they're pretty cheap. Um, at the store and they're much bigger but I still grew it on my own and I'm still enjoying probably three a week so that's how that goes the butternut squash will probably go for $1.50 each so I have about 25 of those I'll use those throughout the the winter it's it's just a little bit of this and a little bit of that the same with the green beans fresh flowers from my table onions here and there um, I planted garlic last year and uh, it was supposed to winter over and there wasn't a bulb in sight in my bed either somebody took it out here or they I don't know I can't even speculate what happened there but I didn't end up with my garlic I'm gonna try again though <sighs> there you are I am dripping. I'm trying not to sweat. And it's so hard out here. It's so, so, so hard. I'm dressy because I'm not digging. I'm sitting. I'm going to water from afar and leave and go about my agenda for today. So it's just a pit stop in my glory place, in my happy place, in my garden to let you know that I'm still in the game. We want to quit, but our garden calls us even in the fall to not quit. Weather's going to be warm for quite a few more weeks so I know many things will germinate. The lettuce may not because it's too hot but it is over in the shade. Um, as soon as that corn comes in and then dries out um, it'll have dappled sun and it'll be fine when it starts getting cool enough. And lettuce may not be robust without a lot of sun but it's more likely to survive. Uh, through the warmer month of September. Anyway, I'm still here. Sharing my garden, sharing my life for whoever's listening. It's about documenting. We don't know how long we'll be here. We don't know. It's more like a autobiography of my later stages of life enjoying some of the the benefits of making it this far in life you know we have to celebrate we 50 plus 55 plus 60 plus year olds we have to celebrate because we've made it we've raised our kids we've gotten here we've made it through probably some heavy trials but we're still able and we're still entitled to enjoy our life in the outdoors, allergic to sun, sun bumps, I'm just like beaming with bumps. Yesterday's sun was too intense and I stayed out here too long. <sighs> I wear my hat and I wear my sunscreen I do the best I can and I wear long pants. Normally I wear long shirts but it is going to be 90 something today so it's, it's pretty daggone hot right now. Um, so my shawl is in my bike bag that I can drape over me if I'm out here too long. But we do have to protect ourselves. We're not trying to abuse ourselves in our garden. We're not trying to 
succumb to any heat exhaustion or bitter cold as we start or stop our gardening. But life's about pushing the boundaries of what you think and what's possible. I'm planting and I'm growing. I'm happy. There's a lot of YouTubers that have had poor seasons with tomatoes or they've had poor soil or they're in the mix of body um, ailments or they're a mix of change, just lifestyle changes and you know, the grace, the grace to go with wherever you're at, whatever season you're in in life and whatever season we're dealing with with our gardens, we have to support each other and be there for each other and know that um, we're not in the wrong for being out here, for enjoying what's God-given and rightfully ours to participate in. We always have the naysayers, those who scroll by or those that are not interested. And I go to the grocery store, how so easy it would be to just grab a bunch of cans of things and pile up the produce in my in my um my cart and it's not that i don't indulge in what did i buy that i don't have big red peppers because i'm gonna make um i'm gonna make um pickle relish and all i have is hot peppers and i don't want to make a hot relish i want to make a sweet relish so i bought a red pepper that's not a sin you know I keep collecting more and more glass containers one at a time it's not a sin we're just gonna do the best we can to encourage each other to be bright and cheerful as possible as we all get through our current struggles okay remember fresh vibes fresh thoughts fresh food is best fresh from the kitchen Freshly made is even better. Eat well. Be well. So you can live well. Signing off. Jules.